decades before Simon Cowell uttered his first insult, broadcasters were talent spotting. Opportunity Knox was one of the first starting on BBC Radio in the 40s. After switching broadcasters into TV in the 50s, its main competition came in the 70s with another ITV offering new faces. The opportunity to be propelled from obscurity to Saturday night stardom was eventually knocked on the head in 1990. Fast forward a decade and the format was revived for a pop-loving population by ITV. Long before showing off an M&S bikini, Marlene Class was showing off for the judges of pop stars. Others followed and some have managed to remain pop stars to this day. Along came Cal, who found his first pop idol in Will Young and an average 10 million viewers per episode for ITV1. His search for someone with the X Factor followed. Despite various BBC talent hunts, what Simon says goes for the viewing and voting public. What's your name, sir? Alex Stanger. And you've come to do what? Recite some statistics from this week's TV audiences. All right, well, now's your chance. <laughs> Britain's Got Talent this week consistently trounced the competition. It took over half of TV audiences. On Monday, it even managed to pull in 15.4 million viewers. Now, to put that into some sort of context for you, that's 4 million more than watch the EastEnders Christmas special. So, yes. <laughs> yes, for me. Three yeses. fans are loyal. These audience members are willing to wait all day for a good semi-final seat. All but the day off work. We're here till the end. It's all round entertainment, isn't it? <laughs> and it's your dream, ladies, to then one day take part in something like this. No. Yeah, I'm going to go on Prince Guy. I'm going on Prince Guy. There are signs in the States, however, that the talent TV format is faltering. This is America's latest idol, but 7% fewer viewers tuned into the show this year than in 2008. The format has a durability to it. I mean, I think we are all familiar with the tricks and, you know, the, the music that's put on and the cutaways and all that sort of, you know, the, the manufacturedness of it. But the fact is, there are ordinary people getting on television and you look at the likes of Susan Boyle, and in a way, she is the audience. You know, there are people sitting at home thinking, I could do that. And if this commotion's anything to go by, once you've won Britain's Got Talent, there's no going back to being just another audience member. I don't think Britain's Got Talent will ever die. No, I, think, I don't know about X Factor and the other shows, they might die out, but this one will never die because of the variety, I think. <laughs> George, the rest of the dancers on stage. Uh, well, the 